Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to Bernie's Apple Box on the Apple Box Network. And uh, we've got a great fun show for you today. Uh, we're going to talk to Robert Buchanan about a new project that he just started. And uh, we're going to get some behind the scenes looks, go on set, talk to him, and we'll have Robert live with us today on a call in. But first, I'd like to introduce my uh, partner in crime, Mr. Gary Hyman. And I do mean crime. <laughs> <laughs> nice to be here. Your Bernie. public Thanks enemy number one. <laughs> no one has figured out more ways to talk to the cops than you have, yes, Gary. Yes, it's true. I have actually never seen you perform it, but you talk That's a true. great game. That's I true. I want you That's to know true. that. I only I do want night watches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Security. 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 Security is your other job. <laughs> and here I have my rather indelicately placed uh, earpiece for Robert when we talk to him, which we'll do in a second. I just re realized what a fashion faux pas this uh, that's is. That's okay, that Bernie. It looks good. It. looks like you're on set. Yeah, it does. It oh, looks we like are I'm, on set. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, we are wait. on set. <laughs> it looks like I'm working at least. That's true. That's I can true. at least do this. I was going to give you an increase in pay, but yeah, we'll yeah. Have to talk about that yeah. later. Yeah, that, that would be, one penny would be 100% oh, increase. 100% markup. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we're going to have a fun show. We're going to talk oh, yeah. to Robert. We got some behind the scenes. Oh, let me introduce uh, Sean and Hunter. Hunter is hey, our everyone. Hunter's our guest audio guy Ooh. today. Mr. Tony's out on uh, vacation. So I hope he's watching. Tony, I hope you're having a great time, mm -hmm. buddy. You know, enjoying yourself out of here and Friday off. Mm -hmm. Um so we're going to do that, and I, I've got Robert up there, and I'm going to talk a little bit about, just, just before we get to Robert, but I just want to tell you a couple things that are going on with the show today. Today, mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit about process and procedures. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, something happened to me this week, which I'll tell you about later on, mm -hmm. but it was such a rookie mistake Ooh, that I made. Yes, you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes. And, and, and also, too, I wanted Hunter in for the show today, mm -hmm. and, and I forgot to tell him. Oops. Essentially, <laughs> I mentioned it to him, but I never said, hey, be here at this time and stuff, right. which is another thing that, that you run into as you get mm -hmm. so busy. So I want to talk, and I know you've had a couple things going oh, on. Oh, yeah, and, this week was busy and, for and, Gary. Yay. Yeah, yeah, and we, we, got, we got some stuff going on. But I tell you, it's just about getting back to basics this week. Yeah, you know, absolutely. And that is so important. Yes, yes, absolutely. I think Hunter had to call Spielberg and, and, <laughs> and push his meeting to next week. He did. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Steve's a pretty understanding guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You, get one, you get one mistake. and You get one mistake and, and then your career's over. And then you're done. <laughs> It's better not to make the mistake. Yeah, right. Or have the friend that is next to you throw him under the yeah, bus. Yeah, throw him right? under the bus. That's, that's true. That's somebody else's fault. <laughs> that's yeah, that's right. Sure, why not? That's the Hollywood way. That's, that's the way it goes. <laughs> a shift flame. Yeah. I love that shift flame. <laughs> shift flame. Shift flame. <laughs> so, um, first of all, let's um, maybe what we should do, Sean, and tell me if you're ready for this. Can we play the piece that we shot? Uh, and then we'll go to Robert, mm -hmm. and I think Robert's going to. Yeah, let's let's do that. Hey guys, it's Austin Sabato here, uh, director of photography, and we're on set for a film that we're shooting, and uh, they're doing an interview over there, so I don't want to talk too loud, but let's go on over and check out, see what we're doing. Want to get a little closer? I'm just going to grab my food if you guys don't mind, because uh, we're kind of on a tight schedule here, and then I'm just going to just munch away. So. We got the Kino Selects, and that's actually going to be used for a special effect. And I don't want to spoil that, but those are up there, um, used specifically for, um, again, a specific thing. Um, coming up in the front here, I needed to find a way to, I needed to find a way to kind of key in the driver of the vehicle. And just looking at reference photos and other BTS, um, with the tools that we had, I figured the headlights of the RV could motivate, obviously bouncing off the road, hitting the driver, kind of like a ambient light because it's bouncing. So 
We're gonna fine tune this a little bit, but right now what we got is a sky panel going to a six by six full grid um, to just make that really soft. Um, might fly it out so it's not as rappy, but we'll see once we get our stand in. Um, this is kind of a general idea. Um, so again, RV's on the road, and we also want to create uh, street, street lights passing by. So that's why we got this light right here. And the director specifically wanted um, like a sodium vapor bulb back in the days, just kind of like old in the middle of nowhere. And so that's why we have, I believe, looks like CTS. Um, yeah, CTS on this tungsten. And we're gonna have that swing around to recreate the light passing by. So we're gonna go inside real quick. Just take a bite of this amazing Chipotle dish. So inside, this is where it all happens. And the director wanted specifically a dark, an eerie, creepy vibe, so I thought of green. For some reason, green and a mixture of yellow just gets a weird, weird feeling to me in my stomach. So we got a bunch of these quasars inside, and I, I just felt like it makes sense that these could just be like the RV lights. So we'll come around through here and just put these on as well. So again, all inside here is just a bunch of quasars as well as in here too, but I can't reach that. Um, so yeah, that's, this is pretty much the set, guys. But again, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, stay tuned. And uh, I guess let me know if you guys have any questions about it. All right, this is looking great. This is looking great. But we're not shooting outside, we're shooting inside. All right, Mark, let's go to Video Village. You can go to Video Village. Camera's flying in, camera's flying in. All right, get in position here. I don't have my phone focus. <laughs> Um, let's do that, yeah. Well, actually, um, let's, uh, no, no, you're good, you're good. Let's, uh, I'll just, <laughs> let's like, where's my guy? Oh, wait, he's standing in. Okay, cool. Grab the map box. We're going to go one, um, no, uh, one-eighth on the, on the Super Miss. We'll just fly it out of the end. And it's, it's just going to be just a punch in on there, yeah. Keep doing that, Mark, keep doing that. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Yeah, that looks good. I feel like it might be too big of a light, like it's here? like a helicopter. You want me to sit here? Yeah, it looks like it's a little hot. What does it look like on camera? <laughs> the what? Let's, yeah. let's close those flat, yeah, close the barn doors. Uh, yeah, right here, this is great in that frame, yeah, yeah. but we just need to be cognizant that we For are sure. not shooting, you know, blue screen when we have this frame. Got it. Fifty percent. Copy that. Seventy-five, fifty. We do not need the green box. Well, I guess we could fly it underneath somewhere, right? All right I'll fly it yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being weird on camera. No, please, please, please do. All right, support. Thank you. I got it. All right, how are we? So, it's solid. It's just so then. Uh, I guess bring up the blind. Uh, more haze. More haze. Need more haze. Need more haze. More cowbell. More cowbell. Yep. Definitely more haze. More haze for sure. Uh, there, Mark. Thank you. And how open are the blinds? They're they're not like fully open. There's you want them most. Well, I just want to make sure that that light is actually getting in yeah. there because it doesn't look like there's making much of a difference with the brightness yeah. when the light comes up. Mark, we're gonna have to probably just open the blinds a little bit more because they're, they're really cutting some light. So let's open that if you can. Thank you. I like the color. I, I do like how it's there green, you yellow. And yeah. Green. Yeah. Now we're getting that white light. Yeah. That looks great, guys. Looks All right, that? Uh, no, that it needs to go off. Okay. Um, yeah. 
So this is before lights go on. Mm -hmm. And then talk to me on that. Is that, I mean, that's No, it looks good. Natural. I'm good with this, yeah. yeah. Totally good with this. Okay. So can I, we'll yeah. just audition this? Okay. Let's do it. Cue wind on the lowest setting. Copy. Three, two, one, lights. Well, start the lights. Bright, and then this goes right. Every time. Every time. I mean, that's why we have lighting boards. So this side gets bright real quick, and then that side always comes in. So that's why we're thinking having that one come in fast, like have him do that first. Uh, but for some reason, it still doesn't work out. So unless it's just again it's just rehearsing it again that he knows yeah. but it's just like there's this always for some reason this long oh, delay yeah. it, that's just the light it's the light yeah. okay can you just show that to me real quick i just want to see that so it's the blue knob so if you crank that oh wow yeah it takes forever wow see that was eh. Yeah, that takes forever. Okay, so three, two, one. So you gotta like really, really twist your arm. Almost there. Almost there. Let's addition this. We'll go on monitor and everyone stand by. All right, let's go ahead and cue in. Uh, cut off the haze. I lost uh, video. Is video being rebooted? Yeah, we, we had to swap batteries. Copy, copy. Thank you, thank you. Um, you can wait. Uh, give me a little bit more haze, actually. Yeah, let's haze it. Okay, and, uh, my battery on my walkie is running low, so I need new batteries if we got batteries. Copy, thanks. Okay. He says haze is on, right? Yes, sir. Thank you. I just need to tell him his reaction. So you're not, you're not going to react until the lights come up, okay? Speed. Okay, adjust your focus. Boy. And action. Lights. Lights. Reset. Reset. Lights. Lights. One more time. Reset. Keep rolling. Keep rolling here. Oh, that's awesome. That's Very awesome. Cool. And good job shooting that, Sean. That was really good. Yeah. Yeah, thank um, you. Yeah, nice job. Nice job. Very nice. Uh, so I'd like to bring Robert in. Robert, Robert. are you there? Knock, knock. Are you there? Hey. 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 There he is. Yes, How you doing, buddy? <laughs> awesome. I'm awesome. doing great. You guys? Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, we appreciate you having us down. So that was very nice to let us oh. on set and check it out and see see how you guys were setting up. Tell us a little bit about this project. Well, we were honored to have you down, and thanks for helping us out for sure. Um, this project was a lot of fun. I had a really all-star uh, crew and cast going on there. Um, everybody's a rock star in their own right, and. Uh, uh, I know you saw, if you watched the video that you just played, I know you saw a lot of things that may not make sense, but they will all come together once you see the film. Uh, but, yeah, it was it was a nice, it was, you know, something that you'll see there is there were a lot of challenges um, from, you know, figuring out how to make those lights come up. Uh, we have those lights in the back, uh, outside of the back of the RV. Um, one of the challenge we, challenges we faced there was trying to get the light to come up uniformly on each side of the RV. And uh, dealing with the, the digital lights, um, they want to go up 
rather slow and incrementally. So we ended up needing to figure out a solution on the spot, you know. So we ended up grabbing a couple of four by four blacks, put them on each side of the RV, and then, you know, dropping them at the same time to get the desired effect that we wanted. And uh, just being on set, there's always challenges. There's always something that's going to come up that you need to figure out, you know, on the spot. And uh, it was a day full of that. And I had a great crew with me that was uh, very capable of figuring things out. You know what? I, I, I think you hit the nail on the head right there, Robert. In all honesty, I think that's why we love the set so much. It demands <laughs> that you figure something out now, you know. And, yeah. and that could be any a number of things. That could be reworking the shot. That'd be, you know, taking the dialogue in a little different direction or something like that. It's not always a big deal. Certainly, it seems like it always has to do with lighting, though, from my point of view. You know, there's always <laughs> yeah. something you've got to do and re-rig and make more space and they need more room in the scene and all that. But I, I think that's what challenges us and that's what we like, you know. I know the difference between yeah. me and this industry, and when I just used to have nine to five jobs, that was the same problem over and over and over, and there was really never a solution for it. You tried to manage yourself around it. But here, it's you make it work, and I think that's what's so yeah. great. And it looked, I, I know some of the people you had on your crew, and they are top-notch people. Yeah, and you know, another thing about it all was just the way that it came together. Um, other challenges that we faced, um, initially we had an RV that was going to be uh, free for us to use, um, but it wasn't in the best drivable condition. So uh, my production manager, Mark Leone, he had connected us with that, and he had secured a location um, at Shelter Island um, through the port, and that was like three miles further than the RV could travel. So we had a location and we had the RV, but they just couldn't match up. So we ended up needing to let that first RV go. Uh, we ended up renting a second RV. So we're thinking everything's good. We got this beautiful RV, this you know old classic, um, you know, with character RV that we're gonna shoot in at Shelter Island. And then two days before we need to shoot, uh, the port informs us that there's actually construction down there. So we had to, we couldn't shoot there. So wow. You know, it's, wow. There's always a challenge, and everything eventually lined up um, and just you know came together perfect. And we, we found a great location to shoot in, uh, you know, with our RV. And uh, I'd been wanting to work with Austin Sabato, the director of photography you saw there. Um, I'd seen a lot of his recent work, and a lot of his work has been looking really, really good. And uh, I know that he has the heart for uh, Hollywood and doing more, you know, um, Hollywood type stuff narratives type stuff over the traditional um, commercial stuff that he's doing right now. So I wanted to reach out to him and give him a shot at doing this. And he came in and just knocked it out of the park. Yeah, uh, Austin is a great guy. I've gotten to know him over the last year, of course. I worked with him a, a time or two, done a scout or two with him as well. Great guy, great eye. Um, really, really on top of it. So yeah, it was good. And it just just as a note, Austin was the guy we heard at the top of the video, that he was the DP who was right. giving us that, that interview. Um, uh, Gary, I think Gary's got a question for you. Hey, Robert, Robert. how you yeah. doing? Sure. Yeah, I'm doing great, Gary. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, whose RV was it? Was it, a, was it a rental? It was a friend of yours? And uh, no, yeah, it was pull actually a permit? A to uh, shoot inside the RV? So, no, I went through this place called RV Share, uh, and I rented it from this lovely couple, Carla and Patrick, who are on RV Share, and uh, they're great. <laughs> they're awesome people. Um, they also do some executive coach services with uh, um, uh, Suburbans and some other stuff, but uh, RV Share. So if you ever need to shoot something in an RV, go through RV Share. and. Basically, it's like shared grid for RVs, and people put their RVs up there, and you can look through, browse, and see, uh, you know, if there's something that you like. And uh, you end up working with the people that own it one-on-one, -on -one, um, and it's just a really nice service. Um, I, I found it at the last minute, and it just worked out perfectly. That's great. That's great. great. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks. RV share. RV, RV share. share. Okay, noted. You know what? <laughs> I just thought of a show you could do a drama series, 
you know? A guy makes meth. But every week, it's a new RV. <laughs> Think about how's that. That, how's that had that? no the same one. Real yeah. nice oh. ones, good. Yeah, you know? yeah, it's a, yeah. yeah. It'll never work. Yeah. It'll never work. Nobody yeah. buy yeah. that. Yeah. Nobody yeah. buy yeah. that. That's no stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, but speaking of the RV, speaking of the RV, it, it brought so many challenges, and I, I really think that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to shoot an RV. Um, it. it, it it was something that we couldn't move. We weren't going to be able to drive the RV while we shot. Um, and we debated that. We thought about shooting while we were driving down the road. But uh, safety reasons and just other things just didn't seem like that would be the right thing to do. So, um, you know, one of the main things was I didn't think that we would be able to keep the lighting consistent and as controllable if we were to actually try to drive the RV. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of made an executive decision there that we were just going to stay in one place and do everything we could, you know, possible to make that big RV look like it was going, you know, barreling down a rainy road at night. So, and I think we did a pretty good job of pulling that off. Um, awesome. You know, we awesome. had, yeah, you, you, you provided us with the, you know, the lighting that we needed, you know, to really pull it off, you know, perfectly. That's good. I, I hope it helped. That's awesome. You know, it, it oh, it's time. funny too, because in this process, it, it, it made me realize I've been in business for so long and I've been out of sort of anything project that's small where everybody's coming together to do the passion project and stuff. And when I was a, a while back in the business, I was doing those type of things and it was so much fun oh, yeah. and so much those creative. The, the pressure you know? was off. Yeah. yeah, the pressure's off. Yeah. And, and, yeah. And, and plus, you know, you're working a lot in the corporate world where there's a certain look and everything. Oh, yeah. And I don't mean it's not a good look. No. Or, or anything, but, you know, when you're working in a little feature like that, mm -hmm. something is that you can do so much with just one light. Yes. yes. You know? Yeah. And that's really where the fun yeah. comes. Yeah. And, you know, it's, it's a worthwhile investment uh, in yourself to go out and do passion projects. Uh, it's not going to make you money, you know, right off the bat necessarily. But, you know, you make that investment on your craft. You go out there and you come up with an idea or you help someone execute their idea or any role that you can play in bringing someone's vision to life will help you, you know, further your career. Um, and it's, to me, it's worth more than money because you get the experience. You get to build the relationships with people that are actually doing things and moving forward. And you all end up moving forward together as opposed to a lot of people, you know, I shouldn't say a lot of people, some people, um, feel like it's a competition and you have to be better than everybody else but really i think if you are flexible and to play whatever role you know that you can on set you're going to you're going to learn something and you're going to grow it's going to be yeah. better for you in the long run that's awesome and you know what you really strike home with that word investment mm -hmm. you know because mm -hmm. that is so important to people in our industry. Absolutely. And it is so mm -hmm. important to get yourself out there in front of the other people, Absolutely. do a little passion project. Even if it's not your, you mm -hmm. just help on it. You know, it's so nice to have that on your phone and say, hey, this is just a little piece we did. Sure, boom. It impresses. And it's really, truly an investment. You're investing in, in your networking, future. In, in, your in your own future, Absolutely. even if it's you're not your project, <laughs> sure. you know? You're really that that investing. I really love that word. It's great. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, I know and there's. That, you know, uh -huh. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, and from that, um, you know, so with working with Austin, you know, I knew Austin, but I wanted him to be comfortable um, when he was on set with people that he knew. So I had him pick out the gaffer and you know the gaffer's team and. I wanted him to have crew that he was familiar with. And what that did, it was that introduced me to Mark Lopez and, you know, and his incredible gaffing skills. So, you know, it's, it's always good to just be willing to go with the flow and meet people and, you know, um, try your best to do your best. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree, Robert. I totally agree. It's, uh, now I know there's more coming on this project Tell us, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, just, I don't want to give anything away, but, but, but give us some, some idea right. of what the future is for the project. Well, the future, hmm, let's see if I can say that without giving it away too much. Uh, I'll just say this. You'll be seeing this project uh, 
soon. Not soon. <laughs> um, there, good, you'll be seeing good, this project good. very soon. Uh, there was there were several reasons why we did this project the way we did this, and uh, if you follow me at on Instagram at Robert C Buchanan. Oh, give it to us! Give it to and, us! How do yeah, we get yeah, a hold look, of you? No, no, yeah, no, no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring, bring it out! Bring it on! <laughs> follow me at Robert C Buchanan. That's B U C H A N A N. Uh, at HD Pro Films, uh, you'll be seeing more about this project, and you can uh, you'll find out in a couple weeks here. Uh, where we're at. So right now it's still going through post. Uh, we are, you know, we, we I sat down in the editing suite yesterday, got most of it um, locked down. It'll be going out to audio, uh, to, to sound design, and to, um, we have this wonderfully talented um, colorist, Ariana Shining Star, who's going to be uh, doing the color for it. I'm really excited about that. Um, so just stay tuned. You'll, you'll see more about this project very soon. That's great. You know, um, Sean, what I'd like to do is to let's roll that piece again and then we'll go to a commercial break after that. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we'll come back and do the show. And Robert, thank you so much for sharing oh, with it's us. My pleasure. We thank really you. appreciate it. Yes, absolutely. I thank appreciate Robert. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we'll okay, have you on the you. show and we will be following the project as you go through the different stages. So uh, looking forward to it, buddy. Much appreciated. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. Hey, guys. It's Austin Sabato here, uh, director of photography, and we're on set for a film that we're shooting. And uh, they're doing an interview over there, so I don't want to talk too loud. But let's go on over and check out see what we're doing. Want to get a little closer? I'm just going to grab my food, if you guys don't mind, because uh, we're kind of on a tight schedule here. And then I'm just going to just munch away. So we got the Kino Selects, and that's actually going to be used for a special effect. And I don't want to spoil that, but those are up there um, used specifically for, um, again, a specific thing. Um, coming up in the front here, I needed to find a way to, I needed to find a way to kind of key in the driver of the vehicle. And just looking at reference photos and other BTS, um, with the tools that we had, I figured the headlights of the RV could motivate, obviously bouncing off the road, hitting the driver, kind of like a ambient light because it's bouncing. So we're going to fine tune this a little bit, but right now what we got is a sky panel going through a six by six full grid um, to just make that really soft. Um, might fly it out so it's not as rappy, but we'll see once we get our stand in. Um, this is kind of general idea. Um, so again, RVs on the road, and we also want to create uh, street, street lights blasting by. So that's why we got this light right here. And the director specifically wanted um, like a sodium vapor bulb back in the days, just kind of like old in the middle of nowhere. And so that's why we have, I believe, it looks like CTS. Um, yeah, CTS on this tungsten. And we're going to have that swing around to recreate the light passing by. So we're going to go inside real quick. Just take a bite of this amazing Chipotle dish. So inside, this is where it all happens. And the director wanted specifically a dark and eerie, creepy vibe. So I thought of green. For some reason, green and a mixture of yellow just gets a weird, weird feeling to me in my stomach. So we got a bunch of these quasars inside. And I, I just felt like it makes sense that these could just be like the RV lights. So we'll come around through here. And just put these on as well. So again, all inside here is just a bunch of quasars. As well as in here too. But I can't reach that. Um, so yeah, that's, this is pretty much the set, guys. But again, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah. Stay tuned, and uh, I guess let me know if you guys have any questions about it. All right, this is looking great. This is looking great. But we're not shooting outside, we're shooting inside. All right, Mark, let's go to Video Village. You can go to Video Village, camera's flying in, camera's flying in.
All right, get in position here. I took my ball of focus. <laughs> um, let's do that, yeah. Well, actually, um, let's, uh, no, you're good, you're good. Let's, uh, I'll just, <laughs> let's like, where's my guy? Oh, wait, he's standing in. Okay, cool. Grab the map box. We're going to go one, um, no, uh, one eighth on the, on the super miss. We'll just fly it out of in. And it's, it's just going to be just a punch in on there, yeah. Keep doing that, Mark. Keep doing that. Swing it, swing it, swing it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah, that looks good. I feel like it might be too big of a light. Like it's here? like a helicopter. You want me to sit here? Yeah, it looks like it's a little hot. What does it look like on camera? The what? Let's, oh, yeah. let's close those flat. Yeah, close the barn doors. Uh, Right, how, that how are you doing? Yeah. great in that frame, yeah, yeah. but we just need to be cognizant that we For are sure. not shooting For sure. no, blue screen when we have this frame. Got it. 50%. Copy that. 75. We did. We do not need the green box. Well, I guess we could fly it underneath somewhere, right? All right, I'll fly it Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was being weird on camera. No, please do, please do. All right, support. Thank you. I got it. All right. How are we? So. It's solid. It's just. So then, uh, I guess bring up the blind. I, more haze. More haze. Need more haze. Need more haze. More cowbell. More cowbell. Yep. Definitely more haze. More haze for sure. Uh, there, Mark. Thank you. And how open are the blinds? They're, they're not like fully open. There's, you want them most. Well, I just want to make sure that that light is actually getting in yeah. there because it doesn't look like there's making much of a difference with the brightness yeah. when the light comes up. Mark, we're going to have to probably just open the blinds a little bit more because they're, they're really cutting some light. So let's open that if you can. Thank you. I like the color. I, I do like how it's there green, you go. yellow. And yeah. Green. yeah. Now we're getting that white light. Yeah. That looks great, guys. Looks great. I like that. Uh, no, that needs to go off. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is before lights go on. Mm -hmm. And then talking about that. that. I mean, that's No, it looks good. Natural. I'm good with this, yeah. yeah. Totally good with this. Okay. So let, can I, we'll yeah. just we'll audition this? Okay. Let's do it. Q wind on the lowest setting. Copy. Three, two, one, lights. Start the, start the lights. Bright, and then this goes bright. Every time. Every time. Yeah. So this side gets bright real quick, and then that side always comes in. So that's why we're thinking having that one come in fast, like have him do that first, uh, but for some reason it still doesn't work out. So I must. It's just, again, it's just rehearsing it again that he knows. But it's just like there's this always, for some reason, this long delay. It's just the light. It's the light, okay. Can you just show that to me real quick? I just want to see that. So it's the blue knob. So if you crank that. Oh, wow, yeah, it takes forever. Wow. See, that was, eh. Yeah, that takes forever. Okay, so three, two, one. So you gotta like really, really twist your arm. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Let's addition this. We'll go on monitor and everyone stand by. All right, let's go ahead and cue in. Uh, cut off the haze. Oh, I lost uh, video. Is video being rebooted? Yeah, we, we got to batteries. Copy, copy. Thank you, thank you. Um, you can, wait, uh, give me a little bit more haze, actually. Yeah, let's haze it. Okay, and uh, my battery on my walkie's running low, so I need two batteries if we got batteries. Copy, thanks. I told him that! <laughs> Yeah, yeah.
Okay. He says Hayes is on, right? I just need to tell him his reaction. So you're not you're not going to react until the lights come up, okay? Okay, adjust your focus. Stand by. And action. Lights. Lights. Reset. Reset. Lights. Lights. One more time, reset. Carlos, you gotta shout it. Keep rolling, keep rolling here. Hi, I'm Bernie. I own Bernie's Grip and Lighting, San Diego Grip and Lighting, and Los Angeles Grip and Lighting. You know, we pride ourselves on not only renting you the best equipment, but also giving you the best crews. And one of our core values here at Bernie's Grip and Lighting is that we give you the highest production value in the world. And remember, people used to say national, local. No, we present world-class production value on every set. We also know budgets are very tight these days, and you've got 10 hours to get what you need in the can. We move ahead, we move fast, and we know what you need. When you rent from Bernie's Grip and Lighting, you have a partner on your production for that day that is making sure you are well taken care of. So anytime you're in Southern California, give us a call at 714-609-3545 and we'll take very good care of you. See you on set. Hey everybody and we are Back. I just wanted to show that again, that, that, that little piece. I, I loved it. I loved mm -hmm. it. And, and of course, talking to Robert. Robert, while we were showing that, texted mm -hmm. me and he goes, Hey, your mic is hot. I, I don't know. I don't know. The, the guys told me we were down, but it was hot. You know, I love hearing mm -hmm. that behind the scenes yes. talk. Yeah. I, I have heard some. It's intriguing. Oh, it is. I, I, Unless it's it, about me. No. <laughs> well, that's a problem. It's never about me. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, right. It's always right. about me. I know it. You know, one of the funniest things that I ever saw, and this was so true, and, and it was it was kind of a big deal when it happened, like for a day, mm -hmm. you know. But I can't remember, and I think it was Clinton at the Democratic National Convention, and I think he had just won the second uh, nomination. nomination. Yeah. You know, he was president then, he was sure. winning the second nomination. Mm -hmm. And they had a guy who was directing that, and his name was Don, and it's a famous director. He's a really good director. Yes. And how this happened, I can't quite imagine, to tell you the truth. But because it w went on for so long. Okay, so he's nominated. The final person says, and our 54 mm -hmm. votes go to William Jefferson Clinton. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and woo. And so he goes, okay, so the band starts playing and stuff, and you hear, and you heard this for about two minutes prior to that announcement, you heard everything in the booth. And so he's, uh, he's going around, okay, go to cue band, the band, oh, oh, yes, cue, yes, cue camera record, two, sure. okay, cue the balloons, mm -hmm. you know, no balloons. And so everybody's going around, and they, they take a shot, the right. camera guy stuck. is ready for that, so he goes, right. the, Get off the balloons, you know, <laughs> and uh, and so and so the guy goes, release the balloons, you know, really, really, uh, there's a, and then you see him go back to the camera shot. <laughs> the balloons are still up there in the net, you know. So then they go back around and take a few more shots, of light, and and the guy goes, okay, release the balloons, and they do the shot, and he goes, and this is all over the air, release the fucking balloons. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Classic. And of course, my eyes are like 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 oh saucers then because oh. I know I'm I'm right in the middle of a That's major right. league network meltdown. Oh, you know yes. what I mean? Oh, and and yes. how that they let the mic go that long Somebody you know you know. hear it yeah. sometimes but it's usually cut off really yeah fast, that's true you know yeah i think sean was the td on uh, on, that, uh, on, on that, that he did yeah, that yeah, yeah, he, he was the young then yeah. I'll, I'll vouch for him yeah, he was yeah. young he was it still might in have, diapers it might something. have been before he was born Gary. i don't <laughs> yeah, know true. you know uh, I'm not going to hold the guy to that stand. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'll just deduct that out of his yeah. face. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, there's screw-ups of all kinds. Absolutely. And it, that's a little bit what I, I want to talk about, too, in this, uh, the, the, right now, this portion of the show and stuff. I just want to go back and, and, and talk about mm -hmm. something that, that happened to me this week. And uh, there's all kinds of things that go on. Now, I had an order going out. And it was a relatively slow week last sure, week, sure. you know, for me. I mean, I had three or four jobs, I think, but none of them were really huge. They were very easy to mm -hmm. accommodate. Sure. All the stuff. Handleable, Maybe, yeah. Handleable. <laughs> so I didn't have any guys I brought into the shop or anything like that, you know, and I just kind of handling everything sure. myself. of course. So I, I do this... Um, well, here, wait a minute. I don't think I actually you don't need, need this anymore. anymore. Thank yeah, goodness. You Thank to. goodness. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm listening he's, to he's myself. He's listening on Trump. Yeah, I'm listening <laughs> to myself. Every word. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh that's good. Good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah good point. Here, Pat, no, you, you nailed it. You nailed it. That was yeah. good. That's a good line. Remember yeah, that. Remember that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so anyway, so, I, you know, I do everything. Now, this is how crazy it is. I don't have much to do. Right. I set the whole truck up. I put all the extra items that they've ordered sure. in the truck, right? Sure, yes. Okay. I looked it over left and right. Looks good. Organized, neat. Customer's going to have a great experience when they <laughs> open the door. They see a nicely organized truck. And everything is mm -hmm. in place. So the DP calls me. when, And, of course, every scout now is within 24 hours of the shoot. Oh, of course. It is, there is no, like, two days before. No going back. So you can order stuff yeah, and, uh, get, yeah. you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, it's all 24 hours. So he calls me the day before. I'm at home. No big deal. Sure, but, like I sure. said, it was slow. I mean, he called me in mm -hmm. mid-afternoon sure. or something, you know. So uh, he wants some gel, some expendables, something mm -hmm. that he hadn't ordered. Oh, you know okay. what I mean? Originally. So... Uh, I don't have the van with me, and I've got to go back down to the yard and put him in. Okay, well, you know you know how that is. You bite the bullet. It is, what are you going to do? It's true. You know, it's you true. bite the bullet. I mean, that's just it. The client wants something, and you, you get it, it you for him. That's it your for job. That's, that's your job. job. So I have one more crack at it, <laughs> right? So I go get those gels. I open the van up. I put the gels in the van. I look at the van entirely again. <laughs> Okay, I, I check it out. Usually I have a rule, too, that the day of the job, if that phone rings before 8 o'clock, I'm in deep doo-doo. If, if, yeah. if that call is from my driver or the guy yes, that was on that job, yes. that, that is not good news. Nobody calls in the morning with good news. Oh, no. Oh, you know what I mean? No. It is, there is something wrong. Well, either late at night also, or late after at midnight. Night. Oh, after midnight, yeah. you know what I mean? Or that's before that's, call time. that's any of those oddball <laughs> times, you know what I mean? You know his problem. But this is not. So around uh, 2 o'clock, the kid who picked up the van for me, mm -hmm. you know, it was a very good guy. Um, he goes, are there any apple boxes in this? Oh. <laughs> I loaded the van. I got everything in there. I probably spent two hours just looking at that yes, van. Yes. All tall. Put all the time right. together. I probably spent two hours just doing this, looking at it. You know, like, oh, wait, what's here? What's a? Not at one time did I pick my phone up and look at the contents that were supposed to be in the one-ton van yes. that I put together myself, that I wrote the list for. Yes. Every possible thing that you would think that somebody in my position would not notice, like, I did not notice that it did not have two Apple boxes in it. And, of course, <laughs> of course it's just like, yeah, they're supposed to be. 
You, you know what I mean? It's supposed to be. Well, he goes, I don't find him. I go, look, it's a van. If you don't see him yeah, right there, yeah. they are not yeah, there. Right, Just right. the same to me. So, of course, get in the car, Ooh. run out to where they are. Oh. Thankfully, not too far away. And thankfully, even, they weren't waiting on Apple boxes. This was, you know, he was astute enough to say, I don't see Apple boxes. There right, should right. be Apple boxes in here. You know, so he gave me a call. But, so I got the Apple box. But it brought me back, Gary, and I know there's been a few things you've told me oh, lately or what we yes. do. This is not about experience. No. You know what no. I mean? It's about, how do I put this really? Basics. It's, it's basics. It's basic. It's basics, yes. And that's, I guess, what I am trying to say. <laughs> I, I guess you're going back. But here's the other thing. And I had all the time in the world that week. This was not me being like like too busy to do it. You know what I mean? Sure. But I didn't stop and I didn't say to myself, take the phone out of your pocket, check the list, and go through this van because that takes 15 minutes. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And make sure every item is in there. You know? Absolutely. But And if I would have done that, if I would have taken the th and done the thing that I tell every guy who's working for me to do, if I would have done the thing that I trained myself to do without fail for years, and I was able That's to right. build my business to a successful place, I would not have failed. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. And And I just, I think that the one thing I want to tell everybody is be able to control your time enough and your focus and it goes both ways mm -hmm. you get too busy and they're doing too much oh, yeah. you're going to miss things but you get too slow and you don't have that demand <laughs> yes. on you you're going to miss things uh, you know the funniest thing bernie of all the things to miss in that van oh it's called bernie's apple box <laughs> network <laughs> what what it's, <laughs> you know, it could have been, you know, a C-stand or a oh, paper oh, clamp. Oh, Gary, you, you just, just took the, to you know what you did? You just took the shiv in the shower, no. dude. Oh, ah! wait, wait, wait. I had to do it. <laughs> and th that brings up another point, Bernie. You know, uh, I get calls all the time and guys go, hey, I just need a camera package, a lighting package, a light, you know, whatever it is. And I go, well... What do you want in the camera package? What do you want in the lighting? Thank you. you. Know? And they just go, you know, blah, 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 tripod, uh, monitor, da, da, da. And I said, no, no, no. Send me a laundry list. Yes. It has to be yes. an email or a text. Oh. Otherwise, it's your word against theirs. Why didn't that show up? Well, I didn't hear you say that. Well, your word against his word. No. So laundry list, laundry list, laundry list. And, I, and, you know, I do the same thing. I try to memorize everything. There's no way. Yeah. There's no way. There's too many yeah. things going yeah. on around yeah. us. That's why it's, it's so important, and I know you do this too. Whenever I have a phone conversation with anybody about work, mm -hmm. job, availability, they have to put it in email form and send it to me. So it's, it's, it's required. Unless it's that emergency in the right, next 20 minutes. You know what I mean? Sure. I, I mean, you're going to help the yeah, client yeah, like of that. You know? of course. But, but it has to be... Because there's a whole other factor here to this thing, too. Just say somebody says on the phone, I want this, I want your gear, I want this guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then you show up with it, and there's nothing going on, or the person just mm -hmm. drops out and doesn't call you sure. or do anything like that. How do you prove they called you? I mean, you probably got a phone number. Right, or, right, but how right. do you prove you what the, the court? How do you, how do you <laughs> well, and how do you do, say what the conversation? No and yeah, what are you going to do? Take them to court? Exactly. Yeah. You take them to court is just like, well, you didn't follow up on this. Right. They didn't get. And you know, that's with requiring documents too. That that helps me out because I require a rental. You know, everybody rental gets agreement. rental agreement. agreement. You have to sign Absolutely. that. You have to give me a credit card authorization. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then we give you, in addition, not that you have to sign it or anything, but we list all the requirements that are required for us to work for you. Absolutely. You know. Um, and, and it could probably even use a few more paragraphs on there about oh, a few sure. things that, <laughs> that I don't want to bog it down. You know what I mean? But that is so important, dude. You have no way of the client. You have to be able to prove the client yeah. requested the stuff. You Absolutely. Know? Absolutely. You know, Bernie, one thing I started doing a couple years back was if I were to send an, uh, a Pelly case with, with lenses or filters or whatever, whatever it might be, 
I open the case, I take a picture of it, mm. get a still, mm. you know, uh, get a still, pop it on the inside of the lid, you open it up, oh, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. I like it's that. It's great, especially for the little stuff, I like the little that. items. Yeah, and that, that is so important. I think taking a picture, sending it to the client. That's even directly, better. Directly, yeah, you know directly what I mean? Yeah, directly and on and the inside of the And then here is if this looks different than what you, you do it, you know, with, then when you receive it, call me immediately. Right you know, right. the, from your picture. You and, know. and one thing too, if you have time, is when the gear comes back, you fire all the lights up, you yes. fire the camera up, you look at that lens, because a couple weeks later, mm -mm. you can't go back. You and know, you Gary, can't go after them. That, that right there sums up probably one of my biggest problems <laughs> in this. Mostly it's a search for me for missing equipment. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because I'll go through the van and look at it. But rarely, and I hate to say this, do I have enough time to go through and plug every light in and, and check it. You know what I mean? That is a, a it, sometimes it's a, actually a matter of logistics. Sure. I have this van, I'm going to re redress it in the afternoon and it's going out again in the mm -hmm. morning. You know what I mean? So sometimes sure. there's, there's those, those time issues, but you're absolutely right. That has to be done, have to, and have and to. that's a part of the rental. You know, everybody says when like like oh, you know, like uh, my va my van. Just take it for example. It's sure. four hundred dollars a day. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? To go out. That is a nice little tungsten package. Mm -hmm. It's a great grip package. Two reflectors, six by. Mm -hmm. All the stuff, and I designed it for an that. apple box. An apple sure. box. <laughs> two of them. <laughs> two of them. Yeah, and. Um, I've designed that to do an interview. Right. Yeah. Now it's four hundred dollars if you pieced it all out, it'd sure. be about $800. Sure, sure. Probably, getting a good you know. deal. Yeah, and you get the van, too. And so you yeah, carry all the vehicle. Your, put your camera package in there mm -hmm. and do all that stuff. But um, <clears throat> that moves so quickly, and it is a, that's why it's really important to me to send a guy out with a job. And I think it's important for the client, too. Now, now there's guys that, that rent my van. I'm not... They're not going to take somebody because they're gaffers yeah, already, or already. they're you know they're people that that know absolutely what they're sure. doing. But for my in client who's a producer or director to have a guy there is huge. If something breaks or it doesn't work, he's got a handle on it. He can fix it on the spot, right. or he can he can substitute something and make something else work. You know, mm -hmm. and That's what true. I tell everybody is like when you're out here, no matter where you are, San Diego, Los Angeles, Orange County. Call me, I'll get something to you. Absolutely. And that doesn't even always mean I'll, br I'll, I'll bring it myself. I will uh, take it, you know, I'll call somewhere in LA and have them deliver it. Sure, sure. You know, so I want to cover bases, you know, yeah, what absolutely. I mean? all the way. You, you know, when the equipment goes out on set and you're renting to a company, yeah. and then you've got all the rungs down, you got the, you know, the, the gaffer, the DP, all the way over to the grip, and maybe the PA gets involved too. Yeah. If the PA or the, or the second best boy, they break a light. Do you think they're going to tell somebody above them? No way. No. They're just going to get another light out of the van that, and just put oh, that light away. I, absolutely. So the word never gets back. Never to gets home back. Base. Never gets. So back. that's that's yeah. the deal. And that's that's uh, it happens every so often. You sure. know what I mean? It, it is. And people are afraid. I'll tell you this is like, I'm never going to be down on somebody if a light breaks. Now if you're if you did something questionable right. with it, we may talk about that. Sure. But 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 shit happens. I, I mean, that's the bottom line. At the end of the you day. know what I mean? Lights break, yeah. bulbs burn out. Yeah. You know, things things break. Things break. Things and, and I always tell my guys, don't be afraid yeah, to tell me about it. It's not a matter of blame. It's much more important to know that you know that that's going Absolutely. on. Absolutely, because yeah. that gear could end up going out next week back to them and they don't even know because one of their PAs busted it. Exactly, exactly. And, and so, you know, it's not, I don't even, I've not had that many experiences where I've really charged L&D. Nah, you know what I mean? Nah, because nah. for me, it's one thing that is, you know, let's just take, for example, a net ripping. Okay, sure, that, sure. because that's a classic. That's First classic. of all, they're like rice paper. Yes. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, it's, you look it's, at them. You look at rip. them and they're damaged. They're yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so, so with that, I'm going to, I'm going to take those things and if it, a thing rips, I am not charging the client for it. No. I've used that, that right. single or double or flag for, for six a, months, yeah, six, you know, six months. 
that thing is about gone by that time. And here's the other thing. In the real world, in the movie world, mm -hmm. right, anything like a, a flag net, rags, 12 bys, 20 bys, they're considered expendables. Yeah. So when it goes, you write it off, yeah. whether you have exactly. it re redone and re restrung sure. or, or you buy a new one. It's called the cost of doing In business, business, business at the end of the day. And here's the other thing, and this is why you have to stick to your guns on pricing, because at $400, I am not making much off that no. van. I, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm probably making $50 yeah. off it if you really put all my true, honest yes, costs yes. on what that is. That's you true. know, So I'm making $50 off That's You don't have any margin to do it. Now, where do I make my money? When somebody orders the van in an HMI. Yes, when somebody orders the van in an I set a camera flow. Add-ons. Add-ons, and that's, that's what it is. About. Or maybe I'm driving the van and they ordered a... a uh, you know, an HMI and stuff, and now mm -hmm. I'm making bank that day. That's where my money comes in. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And, Bert, I got a question. You know, um, through the years, we all know each other in this business. Yeah. You know, we know every company that's out there. And, you know, the client has a choice. Yeah. They can go to anybody they want. Uh, have I'm sure you've got these calls. Oh, listen, uh, we're down on HMI. Can you bring one out? You show up and... It's somebody else's company that they've rented, they've subrented yeah. all that gear from. Yeah. Do you what do you 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 what their do you do client. in that situation? Their client. It's their client. But <sighs> do you rescue them? You know, maybe they yes. on the phone. On yes, the phone you they do. go, Hey, and then you question go, Well, uh, what are the gear you use? Well, I got this gear and that gear from XYZ company. You know, do you save them, Burn? You save them. Every time. That's your time to shine. Ah. That's you your go. time to shine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The only thing you don't have to do is actually verbalized. Well, you should have called me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that part. <laughs> but you're saying it every move you make. By showing up, you're saying so you, By giving them the, the hero. light, you're saying Be the hero. Be, be the, the hero. Every That's an invitation to you right. to get their business. Absolutely. You know that's what I mean? Key. You know that what I mean? Key. But take the flip side. Take the flip side. There's one of my, my, my guys out there. Now, I don't call them competitors because right. they're too much of a client. To sure, call a competitor. Sure. My contemporaries in my same business. I'm sub renting and, and renting stuff from Absolutely. them all the time. All the time. So I actually don't want my competitors to look bad. I want them to look good. Uh, 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 Give you an example. Somebody's coming down from Los Angeles, they're shooting in Orange mm -hmm. County. First of all, they're pretty sure they're in Siberia because right. they're in Orange <laughs> County. They think there's no lights, there's no sure, anybody, no infrastructure. Whoever they hired, Okay, I want them to have a great experience sure. because now they've hired local in Orange County right. and they've and it worked, yes. right? So I, I have an investment in my competitor's job working well because when they come back or they say, yeah, we found a good guy in Orange County, he's working, I can get that job flipped right. to me. So, so for me, I want everybody to succeed. Sure. You know what I mean? And it can't be that... Um, that uh, you know the last thing, right? Or, or make the other guy look and, bad. And when you do make the save on that HMI, you're right. You just give it to him. And said, hey, just get it back. Or do you hand him a card and go, where's where's that fine line, Bernie? What what where do you draw the line? Well, I, they got it. They've got your equipment. Well, they've got to get your information. Okay. That's that's the bottom line. So you send them a follow up <clears throat> letter with the invoice. Hey, thanks for choosing me. Blah, what blah, I'll blah. usually do is when you're done with it. Now, if I'm dealing, if the truck driver called me to save him, right. he's the only guy I'm dealing. With, right. Okay. Right. You know, I'm not not going to the to the sure. client, but I'm not afraid to say to a client, "Yeah, here you are. Here's my uh, here here's my card." You know, yeah. I wish I had some of my cards around here. The, yeah. I, you guys I, got a C47 over there? Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I don't even on. know if there's uh, one. They're right there. Uh, I on. see them. I oh, see them. Oh, you see them? Yeah. There's one right bag. there. Yeah. So, uh, right so here, uh, right here right in that bag, in that bag right behind you. Warmer, yeah. colder, hotter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There we go. That's it. Great. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Hunter. And, and I don't know if we can do a close-up on this, but go to my go to my, my camera, Sean. Yeah. It is. We're kind of out of time. For yeah, it's show. okay. That's okay. I'm going to extend the show today, Sean. Right. You see that? I talked I talked to Apple Box Network. They're going to give us another another uh, few minutes. This is my card. It's a C47 with my name printed on it. And on the back side is my phone number. Great idea. So I know that that light's going to have about six of these in it. 
Heck yeah. Right? You know? <laughs> you, so, hey, you know what you put on there? You should say, take me, I'm free. <laughs> <laughs> this is the only thing I'm not charging Please you Please return to the Apple Box yes, network. network. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to get the phone number in there, Gary. We couldn't afford the graphics this week, yeah. so I got the phone number. We do it the old-fashioned yeah. way. <laughs> We're old school, baby. We're old school. This way works. <laughs> Can you do a frame grab? Send it to everybody on earth. Oh, that's so funny. That's great. That's great. So that that's it with me. You know what I mean? Great. That, that I want my competitor. I want my my contemporary competition to to, to look good. But yeah, I want to I want to take that. I want to take that. How about you? What's that? Uh, you know, whoever I can steal clients from. It's <laughs> the best. Oh, just joking. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Guys, remember, that's my saying. You can never steal a client. They just leave. Right. If they're not glue on the shelf, you know, that's I'll just it, take that's them right it, off the that's shelf. It. Oh, Gary, thanks for the show today, nice buddy. I think we had a great nice show. It felt good. I don't know if we've gone long. We started a couple minutes late. Oh, I guess we went a little long, so that's all right. But thank you all so much for that's joining right. us today. Great show. Mm -hmm. I love it. We'll be back here next Friday at 2 o'clock on Bernie's yep. Apple Box on the Apple mm -hmm. Box Network. And have a great shoot, everyone. Be safe. Take care. Be safe. Cut. That's a wrap.